My bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. It's beautiful. Oh, hi, I, I didn't see you there. I was just brushing up on some Shakespeare to get ready for today's cocktail, the Juliet and Romeo. Let's get into it. What I didn't mention yet is I'm the Canadian bartender, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel where I show you how to make crafty cocktails at home. Today, we are making the Juliet and Romeo. It's a dry gin cocktail that's filled with aromas that'll capture your heart. The cocktail was brought to us by Toby Maloney in Chi-Town, Chicago, in 2007. And the first time that I ever heard about it was a little over a year ago by another YouTube bartender. His name is Honors, and I will put a link to his channel down below. So before we get to work, let's get into the ingredients. The recipe calls for a London dry gin. Dylan's makes a great London dry gin style. So I'm going to use that. It's from Beamsville, Ontario. Local distillery. Not affiliated, but I do use a lot of their stuff. So you've got your dry gin as the base. We'll be using fresh lime juice. Simple syrup. One part water, one part sugar. Some cucumber slices. A sprig of mint. A pinch of salt. And in these little bottles, we have Angostura bitters and rose water. Those are the ingredients. Let's pour, shall we? This drink is great in a Nick and Nora or coupe glass. We've got coupe glass today. So the very first thing, get the coupe glass chilling. Put your hands to the ceiling, get the coupe glass chilling. Set that off to the side. All right, in your cheater shaker, put three, count them three pieces of cucumber and just a pinch of salt and now we're gonna muddle it sometimes cucumber can be a little tough you know they make this look a lot easier in the movies nice little mush of cucumber a salty cucumber mush we'll build the rest in the shaker kick things off with two ounces of our dry gin. Two ounces? Yeah, that's right. Two ounces. Three quarters an ounce of fresh lime juice. The gin and that cucumber, it's already coming up to me. There's the lime. Three quarters ounce of simple syrup. Your rose water, you're gonna put three drops of rose water. Your sprig of mint here, which we're gonna gently brush over the top of the hand to release the aromas. And you're just dropping it in the shaker. Now we're adding ice. Smack it together, and you're shaking for about 20 seconds. And at this point, we will double strain over your coupe glass. Beautiful green tinge. Get yourself a pretty leaf of mint. Give it a smack and you'll garnish with it. Right on top, gently like so. Drop of rose water on top of the leaf. So when you take a sip, you're gonna get that mint and rose water at the same time. Three drops of Angostura bitters. around the leaf. And there you have it, your Juliet and Romeo. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Okay, let's take a sip. Oh yeah, that's a showstopper. You can put this one on stage and it will outperform anyone. All right, so cucumber and mint, I'm getting evenly. The lime and simple syrup balance each other out. The gin, although a very ginny gin, ginny gin gin, is subdued from all the different flavors in there. Angostura bitters are terrific as always. The salt lifts it up. It lifts it up to a higher ground. <laughs> higher ground. Is that, I don't know. I don't even know if that's how it goes. I don't even, that's a good drink, Toby. Toby will be bo baby, banana fan of baby, me mom oh baby, Toby. Toby. 